Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. Please subscribe our channel and click on bell button to get the notification of new videos of testing and DevOps. So in this video we are going to see how to use APM inspector. Okay, if you are using Mac machine then only you, you can get that uh, uh, inspector feature. If you are using Windows you won't get this one. So Windows we have other tool that we can see it in some other videos. So uh, once you started APM, just click on start server. Okay, there will be search icon. This is start inspector session. So what you have to do, uh, I have connected my device here. So in this device, I need uh, maybe the version. Okay, version, if you don't know how to find it, go to setting, scroll down. So this is not emulator, it's actually a device and sh like mirroring the device into the uh, desktop. Okay, version is 5.1. So just click on search button. Okay, there are uh, three ways. Like you have to mention all the capabilities here. You can mention also, for example, uh, I will refer what are the capabilities required. Platform name, see, here only you can see. Platform name, name is equal to which platform, Android platform version 6.0 here it is but mine is 5.1 device name i can give anything like android device something like that app so here i have mentioned the path you can put it as a file path then you have to give that whole path where you have where where you have stored your apk okay so once you're done just click on start session you can see in your apm logs so it will install this app and it will show you the screen here okay you can see the app what's happening here and logs also so it's installing the cylindroid test app yeah now it launched and uh, inspector also you can see yeah sorry here is the inspector so uh, if you're using ua automator for example this I will click so I will go to so these are all native element you can see all the ID so resolution is your ID resolution ID as well as uh, X path some other property also here resolution ID bounds so everything you can see about this input box and as well as for a web view also so let me click this so I have clicked on my device, you can see here, I have went to this screen, now here just refresh, okay, even for web also, you will get it, so edit content, xpath, index value, so everything you will get it, so you can take this xpath also as it is, or if you want to customize, you can customize, say the same way, you will get it this also. You will get ID for this. So spinner, web driver, test, data, export also there. So like this, you can uh, take a ID or a pro you can see properties of any element if this web web or native web, whatever it is. So no problem. So and got it. So, so you can start record also. You can search for some element using the ID. For example, so I, will, I have enabled swipe, leave it, okay, so I will select the element, click on select element. just fetch id go to search so using id i will search okay element is 9 i got it element there is one matches if you have duplicate you will get uh, elements 2 okay so this is how we can search also so only for mac user you uh, you guys can use this uh, apm inspector for windows still you have to use uh, UI automator viewer or else there is one tool called Makaka inspector 
maybe we can see in next video how to do with makaka inspector if it is windows or mac okay thank you guys thanks for watching face any issue with uh, starting the inspector or configuring this uh, configuring these capabilities please uh, put into comments so we will help you so the mandatory thing is this four you should mention that's it okay guys thank you